can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. It's a very typical pillar questions. I I guarantee you, your professor is gonna give one uh, give you one of those, uh, either in your homework or your exam. So it's actually not that hard when you picture it, um, in the statics way, right? It just looks really complex, but when you simplify it down, um, it becomes a really really easy problem. And um, so let's get started. It says that pillars are used to grip the tubes at B. If a force of 20 pounds is applied to the handles, determine the internal shear, shear force and moment of point C at point C. Assume the jars of the pillars exert only normal forces on the tube. All right, so first let's draw a quick um, a simplified uh, free body diagram. Right, one over here, one over here, and you know, there are two forces, two forces, and two force over here, 20, two force, and another 20 pounds force. So uh, for this for, uh, this type of problem, always, you know, we try not to use uh, find the global equilibrium, especially when there's uh, cross sections over here. Just break it down, uh, you know, and do the calculations from, you know, one part of the um, of the pillar. So, all right, let's see my one million dollar skill of drawing. Drawing. Um, so one force going this way, perpendicular, and uh, one force is going this way. This is a a joint over here. Distance over here is um, 0 0.6 inches and here over here that's 10 inches right so um, use the so it's like a seesaw you know type of uh, situation right so the some of the moments must be zero if the seesaw is stationary so it does so if you put one thing on one side and then you have to put equal amount of forces on the other Otherwise, you know, it will generate some forces and the other force must be bigger than the other if the distance is changed, right? So the distance change or the force will change and it will change at a very proportional uh, scale. So we have 20 uh, pounds times 10 inches and this is going a clockwise direction. So that is negative, right? And plus, so this is going positive. And look, this force is a normal force and it's perpendicular, a normal force, is always perpendicular to the surface so the force is actually going this way and it's they already give us the um, distance which is so we, uh, so we can write it down so you know normal force at B times 0 0.6 inches um, that should give us um, 0 for the sum of the moments at a this is 0 right and this way is positive. And solve for MB, plug everything into your calculator. MB should give you 133.3 uh, pounds. See, uh, now we already found what MB is uh, using the uh, shear force. We cut it as C. They're, you know, they're going to find the internal shear force as C. So we cut it open and um, we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and this is going. This is N A. I mean, sorry, N B over here, perpendicular, and um, there's a normal force. There is a shear force V C N C, and there is a moment at C. Right, some of the mom uh, the moments at C. So yeah, uh, even though this is tilted this way, we can make an x, y, and plane just going this way, right? So everything will now this way is the x direction, this way is the y, uh, this way is x direction, this way is y direction. It's perpendicular to the axis that we just made over here. So um, some of the forces in the we can use some of the forces in the x direction equals to zero. Therefore. And C equals to zero because there's no other force counteract that normal force. Um, 
some of the forces in the y direction going upward, let's say it's positive equals to zero, then NB uh, must be equal to VC, right? So VC is also 133.3 uh, pounds. And last one, use uh, some of the moments. So some of the moments going this way is positive. Uh, some of the moments at C uh, equals to zero. Well, MB will generate some force, MB times uh, one inches, right? And it's going um, this way, right, this way. And um, it's going a counterclockwise, so it's positive, right? And minus um, ME over here. We'll draw the direction wrong. It's, it's supposed to be going this way. And um, NB, NB, NB is supposed to go, yeah, it's normal force. So, it's, so it should be going this way. So VC should be going the opposite direction. Um, but in this question, uh, it doesn't really matter. So MB times uh, 1 inches minus the moment SC give us 0. So moment SC should give us 133.3 uh, foot pounds. And here we have it. The answer for this question, right? MB over here, uh, VC, um, NC, and um, MC. Sorry. We don't usually... We don't really need and be there, but yeah. So see, once we simplify it down, you only need three equations, four equations to actually solve this entire problem. Uh, it's just it's a handful when you first get it, but you know when you when you have the patient, it's usually not that bad. So yeah, hopefully this uh, video was helpful. I'm sorry I messed up my directions here a little bit, but um, yeah. Good luck uh, on your on your courses, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.